Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Jeff Gerstmann Hall of Fame. I'm Jeff Gerstmann. This time around, we're going to be taking a look at a 1985 classic for the Commodore 64. This game jumped the line. Uh, we were talking about it last week when Atari picked up a lot of um, accolade properties, including Bubsy. So here we are. Here's Bubsy. No. Um, we are going to play some Law of the West. Now, this is a cowboy game. This is the best Western game, the best cowboy game ever made for my money. It's kind of a visual novel almost. You know, you're, you're primarily dealing in dialogue trees with a little bit of action. It's like uh, the Mass Effect interrupt system, except you can pull out your gun at any time. Let's head over. The Cowboy Land. Now that it's loaded up. There's a lot of loading in this game between scenarios and stuff, so we'll, we'll probably have a lot of time to talk here. Um, this game felt infinite when it came out because of the dialogue trees and you know just being a kid you know you're just like oh man I, i'm never gonna see it all there's so many different ways these conversations can go and 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 everything that um it just felt massive uh the the, the actual <laughs> the actual game is not huge it is a, is a relatively smallish experience and there are maybe two or three ways that most conversations can play out, but again, it, it, it betrayed, you know, it gave this feeling of being much bigger than it really is. Um, and I was probably, you know, I don't know, like I said, you know, 12, 13, something like that. Let's engage the warp mode of this emulator to kind of skip past some of this load time. We may miss some of the sweet music, uh, when we first get there, but hopefully I can catch it. Okay still loading but this is the primary screen here you're the sheriff here on the left you got your gun we're here at the saloon and um just kind of waiting to see what happens this is a lot easier back in uh back in the 80s because you would have the hard the disk drive the floppy disk drive right next to you and you would hear it going bzz, 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 bzz. and so you knew it was still working the days of emulation kind of, you know, there's a lot more like, is this doing anything? And here we go. So the first thing I can do, I can pull out my gun at any time. Uh, he won't approach if I have my gun out. You will get that. Put that gun away, mister. All right, you the sheriff of this stinking town. Um, hmm. Hmm. So you can kind of go aggressive and turn a lot of these conversations into gunfights if you want. Yes, son, and it's a pretty nice town. Yeah, I think I'm gonna love it here. I face the toughest hombres around. Yeah, you call him a low life. He's gonna he's gonna roll up on you a little different, right? But yes, it can be quite nice here. What would you do if I robbed the bank? Uh. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? Should I be like this sweet, simpy little cowboy sheriff? I don't know. I wouldn't like it. All right, we survived that interaction. Um... So obviously, you know, if I had been uh, surly, more surly with him, he would have eventually pulled his gun on me and we would have had to have a full on gunfight there in the streets. And by full on, I mean, um, either you shoot him or he shoots you. It's not, it's not some big uh, to do. I think we probably will see some, some gun action here in our playthrough. We'll see. There are some that are a lot harder to avoid than others, I guess I'll say. Um... And there's nuance to where, like, st some of your interactions with some characters can res change the way that maybe different scenes play out. And that's something that's not immediately obvious either. Look at her hips. This is the sexiest lady in all of video games. 
get off the street, you painted Jezebel. You know, this is just a lot of... I'll just, I'll just stammer. I guess I'm just shy. No, not yet. No. And now here we are in front of the jail and the bank for our next interaction. Let's see how it goes. I like that the backgrounds change really quickly, but man, the load time is on some of these conversations to get them to start, especially because sometimes there are scenarios that are like a little more action focused than others. And so it's very easy to get caught slipping where you're just like waiting for it to load and you go like, oh man, there's a bank robbery. I got to. This guy seems like bad news. Say, aren't you the Mexicali kid? What are you doing up in these parts? I'm north for my health. Yeah. We do have good weather here. See, it is very nice. Adios. So that's, uh, you know, that's, we redirected that conversation where he was literally like, Hey, I hear you got a fast draw. You want to prove it cop into not shooting him. <laughs> um, I kind of like this peaceful route through it, you know, and, and the game, I, I have never, the game scores you differently at the end, depending on how you handle the scenarios. And I have never found a rhyme or reason to, it, other than if you just shoot everybody, you get a very low score. <laughs> um, and so I don't know if it's like the job to just be like, I'm going to psychology my way through these things and, um, and, and, and try to keep everything going. This is the conversation that can kind of make or break different parts of the game. Cause this is the doctor. And if you just say the doctor is drunk, like if you get shot, the doctor has to come patch you up. And so if you're a jerk to the doctor, he shows up and goes like this jack off and then doesn't heal you and you die. It's a great, you know, it's, it's a great, you, you don't necessarily expect it to connect like that. You sure wind up with your share. Go get a drink. You scumbag. Heard any good rumors lately? Yeah, the Daltons were coming to town. When? Down by the bank. Uh-oh. And so here's a scenario that, we, that would not have played out this way had we not gotten that bit of information from him. Now here we are back at the bank. And this is when you got to really be watching this load time carefully. Okay, here we go. I'm psyching myself up. I'm going to screw this whole thing up. I just know it. <sighs> Come on. I'm just hitting up. Here we go. Bop. We stopped a bank robbery, folks. And for that, we have to insert side B. Okay, attach disk image to drive eight. Desktop, side B. And now we push the button. Okay, we did it. We, we stopped a bank robbery today. 
So there are a couple, I think there's also a train station robbery, which is the exact same scenario. If someone walks out of that door and you have to shoot them uh, before they shoot back. But also you have these standoff, more kind of face-off duel scenarios like we've had here. Like that's the bulk of the game is you standing across from a person um, and, and having the conversations with them. Mm, that's not nice sound and music right there. This guy's just got a gun in his hand. How do you like my new shotgun? I mean, should we be like, should we just like engage in gun talk with him? All right, you can keep it out. I'm sorry, you'll have to put it away. And so I'm just going to, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just hold up on the D-pad because you don't know how it's going to go. You got any plans for that shotgun? Okay. Watch this guy in the back. When I pull out the gun, you see he turns and runs the other way. Like they clear the streets as soon as you draw your gun. It's a nice little touch. Okay. What's next? All these scenarios pretty much happen in the same order every time. That's the... I think if you, if you looked at like... If they were to make another one of these, what could they do? You know, obviously random order for some of the conversations i i would love to see someone just make this game again like but in unreal engine 5 like it's still the same interactions it's just like this right side of this cowboy looks fantastic i could shoot this kid right now i could blow this kid away oh hey willie would you like some candy no what uh We need to get this secret out of him. Okay. Is it about any gunslingers? Is someone planning a stick up? Yeah, they're going to rob the bank. So again, we've gotten information out of a citizen that will send us back to the bank to do this again. It's a long, you know, hey, multiple bank robbery attempts on the same day. That's just how wild the West was, baby. Okay, I'm ready to draw. Holding up on this controller. Ready to blast. Okay. That's right. Smoked. Bye bye. <laughs> we're uh, we're we're fighting crime out here. What's next? Will I make it to the end of the day? Will I talk my way through these last conversations? Because there, are, I want to say there's at least one like gunfight that you can't talk your way out of, but, um, but I don't remember for sure. It's been a while. It's been a while. Let's see what's next. This is the school teacher. I hear there's a hoedown tomorrow. Too bad, I'll be out of town. Yeah, dancing. Would you like to go with me? I'm the sheriff. I'll try. You promised Doc. Doc's a drunken a womanizer. Look. Yes, I have. It's a very matter of fact. 
Oh. <laughs> Doc's a drunk and a woman. Like, you don't want to go to the hoedown with him. He's a drunk and a womanizer. You should come with me. Fair enough. I'll hang out with uh, the other lady. What's her name? Miss Rose from the saloon. I believe there are... Oh, man. They really foreshadow who the bad guys are with this music, I gotta say. Those boys sure can't play poker. How much you take them for this time? Hmm. Why don't you give some to the orphanage? Well, now that's not a... Well, I'd consider it charitable. That guy not only was like, I ain't into charity. He was like, I ain't into charity. And then pulled a gun on a guy. I thought that conversation was not going to end in gun, <laughs> in a gunfight. Honestly, I was trying to kind of steer it away, like close to it, but maybe not into it. But that guy was just like, hell no. <laughs> Charities for suckers, ba ba ba. But luckily he missed. Um, and so we had time to gun him down in the street like a dog. Um, man, I I am surprised. I I didn't think that that would uh, I didn't think that was gonna go that way. Here we have the title screen music again. Oh, this is our deputy, isn't it? Let's get in a gunfight with the deputy. Heck you been, Sheriff? On my rounds. No, really. I was on my rounds. This guy sucks. Fuck him. <laughs> I'll take the score. I'll take the score hit on that one. Deputy's a sucker. That's how we deal. That's uh that's uh that's how the law handles uh its own problems here. Uh, Google LA SD gangs for more information. <laughs> the saucy little number. Wow. Wow. A tin horn. Do any more cattle rustling woman. I'm just gonna make a little yeah, I got yeah, I mean you got me there. Oh there's places in the home. You need a man to take care. Do you have to do it illegally? You know, I bet it is tough for a woman on the frontier. You have my sympathy, cattle rustler. Ah, eh, just keep on rustling. Who cares? That's my true love right there. Yeah, you probably spend about as much time loading as you do playing in uh, Law of the West, don't you? That's something that, uh, like I said, a lot of emulators will... We, we're running this close to real time on the loads, I believe, as well. Um, some other emulators are a little bit... And I'm sure there's a setting here that I can set, but... Um, you know, automatically speeding up some of your loads...
Who's this guy? This guy wants some. Wants it to you, punk. Yep. Word? I face dozens like you, mister. So I'm just, I'm, because I, because I don't know where the conversation is going to end. I'm holding up every single time. And then when the, the, this stuff appears, then I, uh, like, oh, okay. All right. Okay. We can talk. We can keep talking. Let's see how it goes. Congratulations. We made it to sunset. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got 11 stars, two kisses, four graves. Well, wait, no, four cross, four unmarked graves, and then one tombstone grave, and then four flying money bags. That's uh, 3454. See, I don't know. I, like, he's just looking at it and go, like, Here, okay, what does this actually mean? Um, what's the maximum score, I guess? Is, yeah, that would be the thing I'd be curious about Um, when it comes to Law of the West. Now, you know, of course, you can have those conversations go a number of different ways. And, well, real, like I said, really only a couple of ways. <laughs> um, But maybe a few different ways based on, you know, like, what are the... You know, what do we, what do we, what, what changes the number of, I guess, boot hill looking unmarked graves versus, is the one tombstone there, there, the, the, the deputy that I gunned down for no reason, is that it? As a kid, I couldn't tell what the, the second thing was, the, the man kissing the lady. I just, I, that icon just didn't make sense to me. I'm just like, I don't, is it cowboy hat off to the side? What's it was like, like, I thought it was looking straight on or something. I just, I don't know. It's only now as a grizzled adult. You know, that's man and lady kissing. A classic. Uh, this game also came to the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, but only in Japan. Um, I want to look at the Japanese version of this untranslated. There is a, uh, a ROM, there's a, a translated ROM if you want to play the NES version in English, but I thought it might be fun to literally just fire up the raw Japanese version of the game. Um, let's just do that real quick and see what that looks like. I, I've done this before, but I, I never remember. <laughs> Pretty much all I remember is that it's in Japanese, and you just go like, ah. But now, yeah, there there is a an English translation. I tried to apply the patch though, and it didn't take. Sometimes there are ROM headers, or you know, there's just like different stuff at play here. Oh, weird. I can't pull my gun out during this part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Bum bum bum. Okay, what do I um? Did it just pick for me? What is happening here? Okay, we, I'm, I need to just double check the controller settings here because this is acting all kinds of... I'm, I'm not really sure what's happening here. Um, let me just config controller, make sure... Yeah, that, that looks like it's all right. Oh, the game, this isn't, wait, this is, okay, that was a demo. The game hadn't actually, wasn't actually playing. Okay, so we can, both gun, both buttons on the NES shoot the gun. Pick that one. Yeah, I bet, you know, a translated version of this would just be fine, right? 
Why does it have a timer? I'm getting scored after every scenario is a little... Whatever, that guy pulled a gun on me. Why would I have zero points? That guy pulled a gun on me, man. <laughs> I think that was the... I, my, that guy looked like the doctor. Hopefully I didn't just smoke the doctor. It's like jaunty music is hilarious. And the timer is like per encounter also. Oh, here's our shotgun guy, right? Is this the Remington uh, 10 gauge? That's what that one says. Oh shit. That was a hot bonus. Look at that. They built on the original game there. I thought I was getting jumped or something. I'm going to have to I would get that translation working and mess with this a little more because it's such a weird... You know, jaunty tunes, it's got, you know, but also like it looks, the color palette, I, I think this game looks way worse than the C64 version. Like, look at the detail on these backgrounds and stuff, it's just so... That's weird though, that's an interesting little bonus, like an interesting little twist that they put in. This is probably the gambler, huh? Yep. All right. See you later. It's, it's, it's bizarre to, to hear this music coming out of the Famicom like sound hardware. Okay. So I get money for him being alive. We're on the board, people. This timer is much lower than the... Maybe it doesn't fully reset. I've, her hips don't pop back and forth the way they do on the C64. Missing a lot of the sex appeal. Like, don't mind me, just mid-conversation, just like, oh, by the way, bap, and just like, let me smoke somebody back here. Nine. Yeah, I'll have to, I, you know, because NES ROMs can be headered or unheadered, and so the patch didn't apply. I'm guessing because the patch is either expecting a header or not expecting, I, I think my, my copy is headered. So it's probably expecting it to be not headered and blah, 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 blah. 50,000 special points for whatever I did back there. Here's the kid. <laughs> uh. What's this little kid doing on the street? <laughs> Bow! Oh man. So, like... You think about the long history of, like... People getting shot in video games. You know, Fallout and uh, stuff like that. Not letting you really shoot kids. And now, <laughs> go back to this. Like... I don't know. Bap. 
You look like a cattle rustler to me. I kind of just want to see what the end looks like. So I'm going to just kind of shoot my way through everyone, if you don't mind. Um, this version, it feels a little awkward, but I guess it's it's probably because it's not what I'm used to. There's an Apple II version, and um, I think it came out on the PC-88, the Japanese computer as well. One in the leg, Mexicali kid. Um... And some of those came out later, like this Famicom version came out in 87 in Japan. I wonder how it did over there. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if uh, Famitsu reviewed it or anything like that. I'll have to spend some time looking. I hate school teachers. Bop. Um, it's just weird to think about this as a console game, I guess. You know, especially 87, like... You know, it's largely a text adventure, you know, like your, your interaction, but they, they added, I guess that was the thing. Like they, they saw that it needed more action. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's got 10,000 points for. Why did that one? This guy's all put your gun away. Oh, this is the deputy, right? Yeah, I've been drunk. I'll say something with an exclamation point because I'm mad. That guy pulled a gun on me. I should get more points. He was coming right at me. And I guess you don't get any points for the background people you shoot if you if the guy dies, huh? Game over. Yeah, what a interesting, just a weird version of the game. <laughs> That's Law of the West. Um, a Commodore 64 classic, at least. And and yeah, I, I kind of do want to... I'll, I'll keep messing with this ROM hack and see if I can get the English version to work. And maybe we'll play that on something else one of these days. But uh, yeah, just... Uh, a fascinating sort of game that I, I was going to say, like, you don't really see a lot of games like that anymore, but I guess like in a lot of ways that legacy lives on in, in visual novels and, and, and things of that nature, right? It really is just a branching dialogue. And sometimes that branching dialogue leads to a very limited action scene, but it's like mini game esque, you know, and it's not some big action game. Right. And you know, that's the sort of stuff you really associated with computers, you know, like they could, you know, role playing games and, you know, there's a lot of reading. How about that? Computer games, a lot of reading in the eighties, uh, compared to console games, which is just like, I don't know, jump on the dude's head and keep running. Um, and yeah, law of the West always really stuck out at me as a really special thing. It, it was always something I would come back to, um, pretty frequently back then and be like, ah, maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll run through law of the West again and see if anything different happens this time. And the way that always worked out is like, I'm me. So I make the choices I would make. And so I'm really kind of playing a pretty similar game of law of the West every time I load it up. But, um, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, and I guess like that answers the question. The other question we had recently is like, do you, do you like any visual novels? There you go. Law of the West. Played that one to completion. Forget the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Go play Law of the West instead. Um, you know, see if you can find love out there on the on the wild frontier. <laughs> um, that's gonna do it for this time out. Um, thanks everybody for for watching. Uh, thanks to Accolade and Alan Miller for creating Law of the West. And, uh, yeah, I don't, that's one that I don't know that it necessarily stands the test of time because it, I think when you play it a handful of times, you kind of see, okay, these are really the, the, the inflection points or the, the, the points where I really have an opportunity to kind of change the direction of the game, um, are, you know, you, you kind of see some of that stuff coming from a mile away. Some of them are a little sneaky. You're like, oh, I didn't think that that one was going to end in a gunfight, like the charity thing we ran into. But really, it's like you can kind of talk anyone into shooting you. Not the school teacher, 
but the uh the the saloon lady i think she'll like start pulling up her dress and pull a gun out of her leg so it takes her way longer to get it out than the other guys do and so you have a whole lot of time to gun her down um and i don't think the little kid will pull a gun on you but in a lot of cases there there you can you could turn almost all of those into gunfights and I, it looks like the scoring is based on you not doing that which is funny because again so many games are so focused on action and combat and all that stuff that like really this feels like a a, a classic case a, a, you know a, a a game built around conflict avoidance i suppose but also some characters will tell you about bank robberies and stuff so i guess the ideal scenario is you don't get into any gunfights, but you get everyone to tell you about, hey, there's a, a bank robbery coming your way or or a train robbery or, or or what have you. That's probably that's probably the the best the best highest score. I have to look. I mean, is there yeah, what's the go go look at a I guess a speed run wouldn't be the thing, because a speed run would just be someone shooting <laughs> the person as soon as possible to move on to the next scenario. Uh, you know, your any, any percent speed run of law of the West. Um, anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I hope you, uh, I hope you go out there and enjoy a little law of the West yourself. And we'll see you next time with another entry in the Jeff Gerstmann hall of fame.